What's up everybody, my name is Bryce, aka Dubs Not Subs, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about a new series that's come out in Shonen Jump called Blue Box. Now, I'm just going to be running through this real quick. I wasn't originally planning to even do a video on this, but I really enjoyed episode 1, or chapter 1, and I was just really wanting to, I guess, make a video afterwards, just because it seemed like a lot of fun, and I've been having, like, the video kick, so what, this is like the second day in a row, I've had like three videos this week, I'm on a roll, but anyway, I'm really really enjoying this series and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it. I'm not going to really do any cuts or anything like that just because I don't want it to be quick and I don't want it to be like too long so I have it all pulled up over here so hopefully this goes smoothly but we'll see what goes on with it but anyway Blue Box follows Taki and another girl called Chinatsu and basically Taki plays badminton and he loves badminton and Chinatsu loves basketball and as this goes on we get to see that Taki actually has a crush on Chinatsu at the beginning of the story, and this is just their, like, little rom-com, like, story that we get to see go along. And the art itself in this series I really very much enjoy. It also, it, I feel like I've seen the art somewhere before, I don't know if this manga has done something before or not, but all I know is that it feels familiar, but all the characters are really nice, and I really like the art style, it fits the elements of the story, it doesn't feel like it's too outlandish or pulls away from anything like that, and it's very detailed, and at least chapter one and how it's going with that uh there's a lot of funny moments within this i really like that it's not all just like full drama i don't expect anything like in shonen jump to even be full drama that'd be kind of wacky but this series itself is just so it's so nice episode one was such a nice fresh take not really new in any sense because there's a lot of tropes in here i'm not gonna sit here and lie there is a lot of tropes in there but with the lack of any romance series that has been in shonen jump recently it's really nice to see again with like we, we never learn leaving and then is boys to flowers or boys over flowers of romance i never read that one but it's something like that and i think that's like that's like a reverse harem anyway this series is just a lot of fun to read i really enjoyed episode one it was very much a very good way of pulling you in a very good way to know if you're going to enjoy this series how the characters are it gives you a very quick look at some of the side characters where you get to see this gymnastics person who seems to know taki in some way besides i think they go to school together but i don't know if they were like friends for that or anything like that they haven't explored that and i don't know if this is going to end up turning into like a harem or a love triangle or something like that and we get to also see one of taki's friends who is also on the basketball uh, not the basketball team the badminton team team we haven't got to really see any of chinatsu's friends yet and i don't know if we're gonna see it in at some point or like what's gonna happen down the road but so far i'm really enjoying being able to see these two fall in love and just getting a little bit of a love story back in shonen jump because it's nice to see instead of all punchy action over the top stuff to have something more like down to earth and like low key and it's a nice thing to be able to read every sunday and from what i've heard the one shot itself did extremely well and that's why it got published into an actual series but I never actually read the one shot, so I don't know the differences between the actual serialization of this and the one shot. All I know is people loved it, and people were talking about how it was really good, and it's going to be a really good addition to it. But someone also talked about how Nine Dragons could end up getting impacted with this, just because it also has sports involved in this. But I don't really see this as being like a heavily sports involved series like nine dragon i really enjoy nine dragons and i don't want to get off on a tangent with that but i know it's not doing too well so sadly it might not even make it but from what i've read from nine dragons i think it's a really solid sports series it's very fun and entertaining i really like the gorilla tactics they got going on with it but overall it's a really entertaining series and i really very much enjoy it and i think you guys should check it out if you like your rom-coms and things like that it's a lot of fun it's a lot of things to enjoy and i really like how this series is going but let's not lie the tropes here are just so very prevalent in this anime not animated in this manga because just like you know you have how you have the love characters or the main characters end up moving into the same house well this isn't any exception but I, i'm not even gonna lie i don't know how i didn't know it was gonna happen because the way it kept handing on to it towards the end of the volume or the end of the chapter because like she kept talking like he, she taki finds out that he's going that she has to move away to overseas or something like that because her parents are going and then she finds out after he goes in there and like confesses that she needs to not regret anything and go to nationals she Tinatsu ends up telling Taki that he she is not in fact going overseas but is staying for nationals was reminded of how much she wanted to go and how much she loved basketball because of Taki but then we end up finding out that 
Chinatsu ends up moving in with Taki because his mom and her mom played together in high school. So apparently they end up being good enough friends to letting her live there. And apparently, I don't know if she had any closer friends, but you know, as luck would have it, that's how it goes. And I'm not going to complain because <laughs> it is funny. And I didn't, I don't know why I didn't expect it. it it's very tropey. The characters are very tropey. You, you got like the kind of, not giggly, more like ditzy, you know, happy-go-lucky girl. And then you have the starstruck, love-struck guy. And he's a little bit ditzy and he isn't the coolest guy in school but the girl sure is and she's really great at what she does but the guy's just kind of average because if you had a guy who's exceptional in an anime or a rom-com like this it would really disconnect readers to what it kind of is which is just the average guy and it makes sense to have it that way because this is a guy oriented manga or like a younger kids oriented manga so to put yourself in place of an average guy is a lot easier than putting yourself into like this starstruck super buff like happy-go-lucky dude who has everything going for him because Let's be honest, most of us don't have that going on for us as much as we like that too. But overall, I really enjoyed this story. I really like what happened with it. And I cannot wait to read more of it. I think this is going to be a long running series within Shonen Jump. I think it's unique. I think it's fun. And I really enjoy reading each chapter. It was a really good time. I can already tell like the heartwarming moments and the moments that's going to make everybody cry. Just based on how these panels are drawn and some of the moments that happen just in chapter one, it really lays out that you know there's going to be some heart wrenching stuff and some stuff that's gonna make you be like this is the best thing ever and then like tears dripping down your eye because of pain and suffering because something bad's gonna happen to one of these guys and I don't want it to happen to him already but overall this series is really good it's really entertaining and I can't wait to see more of it because it, let me tell you guys you gotta you give it a chance if you like your rom-coms you like your slice of life stuff you even like your sports kind of things because there is elements of that I'm not saying that it's ho totally focused on this because it is a romance manga but there are sports elements involved and it seems that sports are going to be involved throughout the entire manga and it seems to be a great series that's going to have a long run and i really really enjoy it and recommend it to you guys chapter one i would definitely give it like a seven and a half out of ten the tropes kind of hold it back but they also kind of help it in a way it's a give and take for it it's a crutch and it's also it's falls but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did and as always dubs not subs